Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. So Timberborn is a city builder but with a difference. You control beavers. Now if you watched last episode we got to here. We currently have eight adult beavers and they all have different jobs. Our main job at the moment is we're planting new trees so that we could get more wood. Uh, but up here this is our new generation of beaver. You see in this faction the iron teeth. Baby beavers are created in barrels and oh god oh god that's terrifying. So I've just clipped through the barrel to take a look at our baby beaver and that's absolutely terrifying. I don't know if I want to play this game anymore. <laughs> but yes it won't be long before our new baby beavers will be joining our adult beavers sleeping on the pavement sleeping in a tree trunk or just sleeping by his cursed child. <laughs> But yeah, in this game, you get to name all your beavers. So my beavers, like this one here, Super Bobich, they're all named after my top tier patrons as a thank you for supporting the channel. All right, so things are looking pretty good at the moment. We're just, we're sort of waiting for these guys to be born. We can't do too much in the meantime. We've got two guys in here pumping their logs. <laughs> I make that joke every time and I still laugh. You can see with the latest in log technology, they can suck water straight out of the river. And we can store it in these containers. I'll tell you what, actually, all of these are full. So I might look to expand that. So let's say water. Could we fit a water tank in there? No, we couldn't. That's annoying. Okay, we're going to put water tanks along this edge, I reckon. I'll tell you what, i tell you what, we could even do it that way. So we'll do four more and we'll build a path along there as well. And I sort of want to get paths ready for the breeding area. Okay, nice. So this little beaver, Thomas Hook, who's 49. Bloody hell, Tom. You are an old little beaver. But uh, he's building our new water storage areas. Meanwhile, Frosting's over here. You can see he is our resident forester. And he is planting birch trees. So we have lots of wood for future generations. All right, meanwhile, I might think about making some stairs. Do we actually have stairs unlocked? No, we don't. So wooden stairs require one log and four planks of wood, but we need 70 science to unlock them. Thankfully, we have 300 science, so I think that's probably where I'm going to go next. So yes, I will unlock that, and that will give us the option not only to get up to other areas like up here, but it will also allow us to build on top of some of our buildings. All right, so as this is the lumberjack area, I'm sort of thinking, can we get up here? However we decide to do this, we're going to need some platforms. So platforms are this one. They need 100 science to so we'll unlock that. All right, so what I've done, I've put a little platform across here. And I'm going to path on top of that as well. And that will link our sort of cities together. At the moment, it's a long way round. Now, this will be a nice little shortcut so people can come back and get water and stuff a lot easier. And then I'm going to try and get up here. We're going to get onto the birch side first, I think. Now, just because there's a little step here, so it should cost a bit less. So if we look to steps there and steps there, we're going to need platforms to raise the steps up. So we're going to need that, that, and that. So that's quite a lot of wood. And then we're going to need steps there and steps there. And then we're going to have to path those bits up. Then we'll be up here. We can chop down a lot more trees. And then I do want to get over to here, the maples. I'm going to plan all this now. Or actually, I just realized stairs cost less than platforms so I may as well delete those and then we'll just do steps up and steps down lovely right there we go uh, oh no I told you that Thomas Hook was old look he's just died of old age so that's the thing this beavers they don't last forever you can only work a beaver so hard before it just becomes old and decrepit and disgusting to look at um <laughs> but yeah so we're down to seven beavers which really is not ideal but uh, what can you do? What can you do? I think we just fast forward and we just wait for our eight babies to be born. If we click on these, you can see they're literally about to be born. The breeding progress bar is fully complete. <gasps> and they're born. They're born. <laughs> yes. All right. However, they are children currently. So we're going to have to wait for them to become adults before we can give them a job. We don't have child labor here. But you can see all the beavers are filling up the breeding pods with berries and water. Because that's how you make a beaver. And as you can see, our new baby beavers, they're well at home. So this is Omka, this is Zach, and oh, Travis. <laughs> Travis is being the dad and he's come to sleep near them to offer them a bit of comfort. All right, so a way to increase life expectancy is to make your beavers happier. And a way we can do that is to build housing for them. You can see down here, it satisfies sleep and comfort. And if we were to click on a beaver and we come to comfort, you can see that increases life expectancy and makes them walk faster. Uh, and sleep, the effects of sleep are just none. Okay. Oh, nutrition one is quite a good one. 
Ah, oh, so nutrition also gives you life expectancy. So nutrition, because we've planted carrots here, you can see this satisfies hunger and nutrition one. There's different things we can plant. So as well as carrots, we've also got potato and wheat. So if we use this grill to cook potatoes, that satisfies nutrition too. And if we use the grist mill to turn wheat into flour, and the bakery to make bread out of flour, that satisfies nutrition three. So plenty of ways to make your beavers live a bit longer. Yeah, but for the meantime, let's check how our beech saplings are doing. 35%. Uh, Ooh, 56%. Ooh, okay, so some of them are about halfway ready, which is very nice. Uh, because at the moment we're sort of, we don't have anywhere to get wood from. We've just got these last remaining trees, and that's all of our wood gone. I'm also going to build a path up to this, because I think it's quite a simple route there. I think it's going to be more of a later game sort of thing. But if we go over to there and then plan our steps. So we've got steps down to here, and we've just got to weave around the trees. But now we have a path to these ruins. And these ruins, they contain scrap metal. And that's sort of the key to the game. Because with scrap metal, you can build this. A suspension bridge. I mean, what, what more could you want from a beaver building game than suspension bridges? But look how much... I feel like they did this on purpose. They knew that this is what I'd want. 3,200 science. But uh, I'm literally... I'm not going to stop playing this until we've unlocked that suspension bridge. Alright, so it's another evening and we've had four more births. Look, we've got eight children. We've doubled our population. Oh, God. And we've got a ticking clock up here. So this, there's three days till the next dry season. Oh, dear. I sort of forgot about that. Uh... <laughs> Right, okay, so when the dry season happens, if you haven't seen this game before, all the water, so the river down the middle, will dry up. And then within a few hours, all the green land will turn to brown. So all your lovely trees that look like this will end up looking like this. Now, thankfully, we do have a dam in place. However, it only holds back the water for so long. Evaporation still means that the water here disappears and everything will go brown still. Um, but yeah, we need to, we need to really prepare because we've got a lot more mouths to feed now and particularly water. I think we will prioritize building these water tanks. And I've paused my three lumberjacks. They were cutting down these birch trees over here. Now they're working the farm trying to collect as much food as possible. Yeah, oh, and look at this. Michael Hart, age two, just wandering about trying to learn from William and Travis Hyper. I think someone's going to be a farmer when they grow up. What about you, Mary? Do you want to be one as well? Oh, there's so many baby beavers. <laughs> it's so adorable. <laughs> but yeah, this, this dry season could be hell. I think the longer the game goes on, the longer the dry seasons last. So let's fast forward. We're, we're literally just waiting for kids to become adults so we can give them jobs. There, if you look at Michael Hart here, he's only halfway. Yeah, I don't think they're going to become adults before the dry season. Now, one thing we can do, though, we can come to here. These are our working hours. They're currently 16 hours a day the beavers are working for, which works out as all the days of sunlight. But we can increase this, and you can see this little icon is moving. So we can increase that up to 24 hours. That means our beavers will never stop working. I think as the dry season is approaching, one and a half days to go, I think that's going to give us the most hope of surviving the entire dry season, as it should give us more water and more food to survive. Oh no, Super Bobich died of old age. Oh, I wonder how old he was. I'm sorry, Super Bobich. At least you don't have to live through another dry season. No, but this is a bit worrying. We've only got six beavers left. Now I'm going to pause the builder one. I think we're good. I think we still want to plant trees because that's really going to future proof our wood supply. But I should probably tell these guys to prioritize harvesting rather than planting because it's going to be dry season. All the, all the new plants, they're just going to die. What are you doing in that field, mate? <laughs> <laughs> That's um a bit gross. So you've made yourself hungry now. You've used up too much energy with whatever you're doing. Oh god, right, the drought has started. So you can see all of this has dried up. All the trees have gone brown. Uh, our dam is holding the water back though. So thankfully for the meantime, this whole area is green. Now I'm going to reduce the working hours. So I think the shorter they are, the less food and water gets used up. So we'll reduce those right back. We're going to stop pumping water. So we'll turn off both of them. We're going to open this farm. So now Chloe and Ashes are in there. We want to collect as much food as possible. We've only got 220. I'm not entirely sure how long that will survive. Now I also might pause the breeding pods because they're very close to being born. I'm not sure that's wise during the dry season. They might get born to absolute famine. So yeah, we've paused all of those. So we'll keep that going for now. And the next step 
will be turning these on so we can start chopping down our new wood. Because look, the birch trees have grown. But for now, main priority, we've got to survive the dry season. All right, so it's the first night of the dry season. The beavers don't seem too upset. They're just doing their usual routine of sleeping any and everywhere. And looking at our water supply, not too bad. We've got two days of dry season left. So I think we're halfway through. And I think we've got more than half the water left. So we should be good. Right, right, big news, guys. Very big news. Look at the bottom left. DeLucas, Omkar, Michael, and Zach have all grown up, which means we have four unemployed beavers. <gasps> so we can give them jobs. Right, first things first, our farms are full of people. I don't want to pump the water. I want to keep everything green. And to be honest, I think food looks okay. I think we're going to be all right for food. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on these lumberjack flags. So Zach's gone in that one. DeLucas is in that one. And Michael Hart is in this one. And then I'm going to turn on the lumber mill. And then I'm going to realize you need power to work the lumber mill, Matt. And obviously this water is not running. And until the water runs, there will be no power because the wheel cannot spin. So we'll scrap that and we'll instead make Omkar pick some berries. Are you sure you guys are all employed? They seem to be doing a whole lot of nothing, if you ask me. Oh, it's because I turned the working hours down. I forgot about that. So yeah, although everyone's employed, they clocked off about six hours ago. All right, so we're on the final day of the dry season. Uh, we're back in working hours now, so we can go keep an eye on everyone. We've got four farmers in here, all digging up carrots, looking good. There's Omkur, he's picking berries. He's getting his face right in there. He really wants to see which berries are the ones that need picking. And then he puts them in a box and takes them back to the flag. And berries are important. They don't only provide a source of food, but our breeding pods, they require water and berries to be able to create life, just like in the real world. And we've just had the notification that four more of our beavers have grown up, which means we've got four more unemployed beavers. Once the dry season is over, we're going to open up all of our industry again, and we're feeling good. I'm actually going to unpause all of these. There you go, so you can see beavers are now bringing them water and berries. Right, the drought has ended. If we look up here, you can see water is returning, and it's replenishing the area. You can see as it goes, there's life coming back to the ground, coming back to the trees. So amazingly, our dam worked. As long as we don't turn our pumps on, we can keep all of this green. Yeah, but for now, it's time to turn the pumps back on. So Yannick Becker's in that one. Mario's gone in that one. All right, so you can see water is now entering our area. It's flowing down here. I think as soon as it tops the dam, so our dam's got a little spillway there. As soon as the level's high enough and it comes down there, things should be moving and we should have power. There you go. So the wheel is turning, which means I'm pretty sure water is about to come down there. There it is. I knew it was coming eventually. Cool, right. And we've got a load more births as well. Blimey, it is all kicking off. Uh, but sadly, if you look in here, Frostinks, he's died of old age. I think we need a moment to remember Frostinks. He used to carry barrels, pick berries, drop off logs, carry logs. Yep, he did it all. He did it all. All right, so you can see all the new beavers that were born. They're all just... <laughs> they literally just fell out of their pods and are just passed out on the floor. No, they're sleeping. They're sleeping. But yeah, right. Things things are looking good for a change. The only trouble now is we don't have anyone on the builders. Can you see our district center is zero out of four? So one of these farmers, Travis, you are now a builder and I'm going to make you build this bridge first. You're waiting on planks. I'm a little bit worried about the water situation, if I'm honest. These guys don't seem to be playing with their logs very much. I think that's because they're transporting their own water to the tanks. What it might be worth doing, I remember in labor, you can build this, a hauling post. And haulers assist workers within a district in carrying goods. So if I were to build that, maybe there, and then we can get people that will actually move this water for us without Yannick and Maro having to leave their stations. Uh, and also, I've just realized the bloody working hours are still 10 hours a day. So let's increase that. I thought everyone was stood around doing nothing. I do wonder, should I think about making a barrack for them so they got a bed to sleep in? They are beavers, though. Yeah, like animals sleep outside all the time, don't they? I just can't help but feel a bit guilty, that's all. All right, there's been two more births. I think we're about to witness a birth. There you go. Did you see that? That was a birth. That's how it happens in the animal world. Oh. <laughs> and he's just, he's completely knocked out. hes <laughs> He wasn't done sleeping. He wasn't ready to be born yet. But uh, who, who is that? It's a... Uh... Oh, Joe the Smite. Yes, yes, that makes perfect sense. He's one of my Twitch mods, and that perfectly describes his capabilities. 
Oh, look, there's another birth. See, that's how you're meant to be born, Joe. Oh. <laughs> anyway, food situation seems to be good. So I'm going to prioritize these back to planting. Oh, look, our platform's starting to be built. Very exciting. Once that's done, we can then do our steps up to here and all over here. Oh, exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, so water situation, really not good. I might actually build another water pump because we have a lot more mouths to feed now. So if we plonk that one there, then we should probably prioritize that, to be honest, rather than our bridge. So water pump first and then hauling post second. Oh, and look at this. All of our birch trees are now fully grown. So they can all be lumbered. Most of the pines are sort of... They're getting there. They're junior, junior sized trees, I like to call them. And the same with the maples. All right, so no one is working in the water pump at the moment. So I'm going to fire someone as a builder. And yet, Michael Hart, you are now destined to pump your wood for the rest of your life. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the hauling post, we're just waiting on planks. We got two out of ten, we need more. How's the plank situation going? It's not going too well, I don't think. Yes, yeah, so that's the downside. The planks are really slow, uh, so we really need this to be built. It won't take too long. We only need four more planks. But uh, at least once it is built, then the beavers can actually do their job, because we'll have a separate job of the actual haulers. Oh no, the late great Ashes has died of old age. Oh, Ashes, we had good times, but um, sorry, it's time to move. Look, we got a new generation, four new births. We've now got 12 adults and 12 children. All right, I think for now, I might pause these beavers. I don't think we want them yet. I might leave these four going. We may as well just let that build up. But when it gets close to being completed like these are, I think we'll hit pause. Just because I'm a little bit scared. The water's going down pretty quick. I don't think we want any more yet. Until we got the hauling post. Yes, we have the hauling post. Amazing. Oh, look, and it's full of workers. EGB, Jalkin, Rin. Oh, look, so this is what the actual haulers look like. So this is Breezy Bro. He's a six-year-old hauler. Uh, he's got a little backpack on. Look, ready? He's stocked up with logs. And look at him. He's off. He's away. It sort of looks like a jetpack, that. I can imagine him just being like... See ya. But yeah, so hopefully the haulers will really help. Um, I might also look to create another farm because i know we're not actually making the most out of this area so i think if we build another farmhouse maybe we'll shove that there then we should be able to collect some more food and therefore we can support more beavers oh look ryan reynolds and joe the smiter they've grown up i can't believe only a few minutes ago we were <laughs> we were slating them for their laziness all right let's unpause these breeding pods and get things moving right we'll make joe and ryan they're both going to be builders because we want to prioritize the farmhouse and then it's about time we head up here look we got one we got one set of stairs going but we want everything else really there you go the water is slowly filling up so i think with our haulers we fixed the logistical issues with transporting resources about and it also looks like we're building this real quick this staircase nice yeah look at this we are nearly ready and then I'm going to select all the trees up there to be cut. So if we come to this mark tree cutting area, we can say all of these trees, chop them down. We don't want them. And I'm also going to put these up for when we get over there. It will be a while, obviously. Look, they are beavering away, building the staircase. Who is that? Ryan Reynolds. I am proud of you. Look at that. Such a multi-talented man. All right, so I'm still sort of waiting for some unemployed beavers. I think our berry situation's got quite low, so I'm going to... Put someone back on the berries. Maybe one of the haulers. And I feel like it's probably worth upping the food. Right, and I'm going to up here build another lumberjack flag. Just so that once this staircase is complete, we can then chop down these trees easier. So I think having access to more trees will really help us. Oh no, I've just noticed William died of old age. Oh, I'm so sorry, William. I tell you what, that sort of marks a sign. I might start thinking about extending my beaver's lives. Because all it's going to take is a barrack or two. So I don't see why I shouldn't just do that. If we plop a barrack there... And another one there. That's pretty good. Maybe even a third there. Proper. That should cover everyone. That would be space for 30 beavers. Although I do have 31, technically. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be long till another one dies. <laughs> right, here you go. Up here. Omka is going to head up here. And he's going to be a lumberjack. He's going to start clearing this out. Because I really want to get my path in. So that we can build these staircases. And get to the maple trees. So yeah, he's actually being sensible. Good work, Omka. He's chopping down this birch tree which is well in the way. So I'm extending working hours until he cuts it down. <laughs> Go on, it's only, it's only an hour or two over time. 
Yes, good work. All right, so now if we go to paths, we can build over that. We can connect this up almost. Don't think there's a way through until they're chopped down, but uh, we're a lot closer. We are a lot closer. All right, but we're going to leave that there for today, guys. We've got two and a half days until the dry season. So next episode is going to be pretty tasty. Got so many beavers we need to survive now as well. Uh, but I think we'll be okay. I think I think we got this. Especially as Mondu, Calera, OC Deer, Logan Scruff, and Aramaki have all grown up. So they, they can all provide a helping hand. All right, peace, love, and bridges, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.